James Prescott Jewel and James Watt by Ramya Raj, Miss Bouget, Class Grade 1. James Prescott Jewell was born on December 24, 1818, and died on October 11, 1889. He was an English physicist in UK and was homeschooled as a child and began working at his father's brewery at the age of 15. He married Amelia Grimm in 1847 and had three children. He studied the nature of heat, which led to his discovery of its relationship to mechanical work which led to his theory of the conservation of energy and the development of the first law of thermodynamics. Dalton was of great influence in his life and fueled his interest and excitement in physical science. His first investi investigation was in the field of magnetism at the age of 19. He worked with Lord Kelvin to develop the absolute scale of temperature. In 1840, he established that heat produced in a wire by an electric current is proportional to the resistance of the wire times the square of the current, Joule's Law. 1852 was when he began working with William Thompson, Lord Kelvin. Eventually, they had an experiment which involved the decrease in temperature associated, associated with the expansion of gas without the presence of external work. This cooling of gases as they expand became known as the Joule-Thompson effect. This principle provided the basis for the development of refrigeration and air conditioning. Today, the SI unit for energy is known as the Joule. James Watt. He was born on January 19, 1736, and died on August 25, 1819. He was a Scottish inventor born and raised in Greenock, Scotland. Initially, he was schooled at home and later began to attend a grammar school. He first married his cousin Margaret, Peggy Miller, and had five children. When she died in 1772, and in 1777, he married Anne McGugger, with whom he had two children. In 1763, Watt began working and produced a condenser for steam engines. In 1768, he associated with John Roebuck a British inventor who financed Watt's researches. In 1772, Roebuck went bankrupt, and three years later, Matthew Bolton, a British manufacturer in Birmingham, became Watt's new associate. Bolton and Watt Company had a virtual monopoly over the production of steam engines. Watt charged his customers a premium for using his engines, and to justify this, he compared his machine's engine's power to that of a horse. From this, we get the term horsepower. Today we know the electrical unit for power is known as the watt, and we also know the term horsepower. So where do we see these units today? We've been using them quite often in our physics class. Work is equal to force times cosine theta times the distance, or delta x and energy such as gravitational potential energy, kinetic, elastical, elastic potential, and internal energy. We use watts when we calculate power and horsepower. Power is equal to the work over total time, and one horsepower is equal to 746 watts. Thank you.